Hello, this is the overview of the homework assignment for this week. It relates to chapter four, assignment number three. You will see that it is exercises 4.40 through 42, as well as 4.54. The source code has been uploaded to Blackboard, so you should be able to use that <clears throat> and go from there. All right, so in this we see that there's three different classes defined. The homework is referring specifically to the club class, although all of them are relevant. Again, notice the slashes and what they mean. So exercise 4.40 is use the club project to complete this and the following exercises. Your task is to complete the club class, an outline of which has been provided right here. The club is intended to store membership objects, membership down here. Uh, within a club define a field for array list, use an appropriate import statement for this field, and think carefully about the element type of the list in the constructor. Create the collection object and assign it to a field. Uh, make sure that all files in the project compile before moving on to the next exercise. <coughs> so, notice you have an empty constructor here. So what they want is there an import that you need in order to support the commands that are relevant to this chapter here. Remember, they're talking about an array list for membership. So what would that array list work like? look like? In 4.41, complete the number of members. So if you scroll down, number of members is here. Notice it's stubbed out with just a return zero. To return the current collection size. Right now it always returns zero. How would you get the total size of the array list you just created? And how would you return its value? Uh, next is membership uh, is represented by an instance of the membership class. The complete version of membership has already been provided. Here's your membership. Um, an instance contains details of the person's name, the month, the year in which they joined, etc. Um, They give an example, um, and they want you to complete the join method. So here's the join method. What would it look like? How do you need to populate it? And notice where I'm at. I'm in club. Here's membership. This is what it's creating when you join. So think about what attributes need to be set and how you would do it. And then when you complete it, how are you going to make sure that it's persisted or saved, stored, kept in memory, however you want to phrase it? The last thing is 454, uh, continue working with the club project from exercise 440 to find a method in club class uh, with the following description. It gives you a description with join month. If the month parameter is outside the valid range of 1 to 12, print an error. So again, we're going to work in here. And we're going to add joined month to this, okay, per the directions. And then how are you going to handle that? All right. And this is going to go through and determine how many people have joined in a particular month that was specified. Okay? So think about the conditions that you would run into. Make sure that you have sufficient test data that you've created to be able to do this and that you can demonstrate that it's working. With that, that's everything in the overview of Chapter 4's homework assignment, assignment number 3. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, email me as early as possible because your week will go quickly.